and welcome back! As always, my name is Oz. Today we're checking out a short horror game called Lamp Post. This is created by Neven Hedinger, which I played another of his games recently. What was it? Final Contract, I think it was? Um, so yeah, this is a SCP kind of game where the lamp post is a Keter class SCP. So let's see what kind of shenanigans are in store. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP XXXX, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes into contact with it. Dr. Hyden. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. SCP bleh, doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this analog multimeter. It is used to measure electronical quantities, like frequency signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lamppost and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. Hello, Dr. Cooper? Are you just wandering? Is this sprinting? Alright, I have one of the five objects. It is a bottle of, it looks like, Jack Daniels. Not this book. Not this floppy disk. Not this gas canister. Not this gas canister. Oh. Not this... Bloody shovel. What's this? But this videotape is one of them. I have two. Bloody footprints. Interesting. Oh, but this flashlight is one. I now have three. Is it this coffee or is it the- oh, it was the coffee! I need one more. Hmm? Oh, I didn't even see that in there. Dr. Koopa, I found all the things! Impressive work! We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where all those objects are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Oh, there's a monster. Right here, Dr. Koopa. No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be maybe that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from other dimensions? Uh, perhaps... Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost! Um, Dr. Thorne, get out of there! What? 
Where am I? Find a way out. Give me this. Date unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tries to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of protons created a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. The lamp post becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamp post and the object or person disappears. Okay. Sir? Is this a maze? I guess so. It's the lamppost. But touching it now has nothing. Okay. Uh, here's another note. Uh, sometimes a lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear, that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Oh, hello. Thank you for that. Oh, here's another note. Okay. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it the photon shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. It's right behind me, isn't it? Nope. Oh, sir? Dr. Hayden? Okay. All right. Oh, with enough electricity, it turns on. I got to turn on all the electricity there. Hello again. Doctor, are you still over here? Yeah, you are. Okay. Go to the lamp post. Okay, I believe it was over here. No, not over here. It was over here. Where are you taking me now, lamppost? Oh. Uh, oh, okay. The photon shadow came for my bootay. Let's see. And a special thanks to you. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. So that was a lamp post by Neven Hedinger. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. This was based off of the SCP lore. This is not an actual SCP 
but based on lore. Um, I mean, that'd be cool if this was, because that was a pretty cool concept. Concept, Yeah. Mm, an object transporting you somewhere with the light. Yeah, pretty cool. So again, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye!